All right, we're finishing off urinary. I think this is number five. We're going to start with a rug, so a retrograde urography. And for retrograde urography, um, we're evaluating the male urethra. So the contrast is going to be injected via a catheter. Um, the contrast will be in, injected in using a syringe in retrograde, so against normal flow. Um, they may need to use a clamp to place the catheter and to maintain pressure to get a full study. It's sometimes called a Brodney clamp or different departments might have different protocol. Many uh, radiologists don't use a clamp at all, um, but they're really looking for a stricture or any abnormalities within the um, path of the urethra. As you can see here, this one is fully um, extended and does not have any um, stricture areas, but this one here where the arrows are pointing is clearly a tightened area, so um, there's a stricture there. And then we have uh, ureteroscopy. So the ureteroscopy is a procedure looking for kidney stones. It's going to use a um, ureteroscope, and it's usually in an OR location. I think sometimes they can do these in a specific office. Some urology offices have C-arms and x-ray techs that come to their office. Uh, I am only familiar with doing these in the OR, um, but they are going to use um, a urologist going to take this scope, enter uh, through the urethra into the bladder, and then do an evaluation of ureters and kidneys. They're usually looking for a stone um, or an area of concern, whether it's a stone in the kidney, uh, ureter, or the bladder. They'll inject contrast. Usually, this is the one that we call a cysto, and with the C-arm, so your non-ortho C-arm comp, bladder to kidney, and you're going to follow that contrast up. Um, they may place a stent, um, so the stent might be placed, one curl of it is up in the kidney, and the other curl will sit down in the bladder. Or you might be doing a KUV, and you see this stent in place, and so that's what it's um, there for, and it's usually for... Um, stones or if they're concerned about something they'll leave that stent in place um, but the scope has a camera on it and so this is pictures of the stones they look massive on uh, the camera itself but when they pull it out it's like the size of a little thing of sand sometimes um, it's significantly magnified but I always think it's cool when you can see their camera I think it's like a little video game sometimes they'll use a laser and laser it if it's too big uh, to pass through. So they'll <laughs> laser it and like point and shoot at it um, to break it up. And I always thought that was very neat. Um, all right, so that just brings me to my little chart here, which is sort of a roundup of all of our exams. Uh, what the focus is, is it anti-grade? Is it retrograde? Are we just at the bladder, just urethra or kidneys, ureter, bladder? Um, and so you'll have that on your printout. And so that uh, ends our urinary series.